In today's video, we're going to be talking about one of the best blitzes and concepts in Madden 23, and it is not dollar three two. I'm going to show you a different way to blitz. And um, this is going to continue us on in our blitzing concept series. I think this is a really, really good way to begin preparing uh, for Madden 24, because if we know anything about defense, we've learned anything about defense over the last several years, it is that you have to have the ability to get pressure on your opponent if you're going to play good defense in Madden. No matter what year of Madden you play, typically every great defense is based around some type of either blitz or plan for how you're going to consistently get pressure on the quarterback. Now, in yesterday's video, we talked a little bit about the meta blitzing concept of Madden 23, which is the dollar three two DB fire two defense, where we can get slot corner pressure off of the edges, and that has been a really good blitzing concept over the course of several years. It's a great place to start in Madden 24 test out the slot corner blitzes and see how effective they are. Um, this was also a really good meta in Madden 17. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a different style of blitzing known as edge pressure. The edge pressure blitzing concept essentially utilizes overloading principles of the offensive line where we can essentially overwhelm the offensive line by thinking that we have a six or a seven man front when in actuality we're going to be sending six players. Um, this is also known, I think, in other circles as plus one blitzing, uh, where, where we're going to basically essentially try to dumb out the center and we're going to try to get dual edge pressure. Now, this has been really good in previous years um, as well. I believe one of the better years uh, that this defense was good has been really the last two in, in a little bit of a way. The 4-3, even 6-1, we're going to get into that in a second. Um, but also the nickel over defense, and this was also one of the meta defenses in Madden 21. It was probably the best defense in Madden 21. Um, and it was the, it also to a degree is kind of how 3-3 Cub works, which we'll talk a little bit about that as well. Um, but it, but essentially it was a 2-4-5 double A gap. Uh, so nickel over, over Storm Brave is the defense. And what we're gonna be doing here, all we're gonna do for our setup is we're just gonna pinch our defense. And as you see here, it creates a six man front. So we're gonna send six players at the quarterback. And what we're trying to accomplish with our user is we're trying to get one of the offensive linemen to engage with us. Now this play, um, this blitz works best if you stand here, okay? And what you'll see is at the snap of the ball, we're gonna get double edge pressure at the quarterback. This is very similar. It's a very similar blitzing concept to what we can do out of 245 double A gap. It's also a very similar uh, blitzing concept to what we can do out of 43 even 61. As you see, we're getting consistent double edge pressure. The reason double edge pressure is effective is because if you can use or the running back, which this was how it was ran this year a lot, if you can use or the running back out of the backfield, this blitz is going to be really good because you have main coverage behind the blitz. And we know that man coverage is one of the best ways to play defense this year. So this is one of the better blitzes of the game. If they do block their running back, then you really want to try to get that other side to come in, as you can see right there. So now they're in a position where if they block a tight end, if they block a running back, they're not gonna, you're always gonna have a plus one advantage. And so the only real way to pick this blitz up consistently it would be to block the running back and the tight end. So if they do block the running back and the tight end real quick, um, it's a mathematical issue. But what you're going to see here is you should get pretty good sheds, even though that's happening. And as you can also see, we're getting double coverage on some of the receivers. So we're able to cover three receivers with five defenders, and we're probably going to get really good sheds. And this is why this double edge blitzing uh, uh method is really good and it's been really good for years as i said it was the predominant meta in the madden uh 21 club championship a lot of really good defenses were running this two four five double a gap approach um this is also uh jay mills who is widely considered one of the best uh, it, maybe the best defender one of the better defenders in the community runs four three even six one where it's essentially the same thing we're going to send six and basically we're going to use her we're going to try to, to use her and force you to make a read before you're comfortable being able to do that so you know you'll see something like this maybe they go with like a scissor adjustment so everything on that left side is taken away now i know i got to go to the right side and take the tight end away and as you can see we jump everything quickly and it makes it really 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 good the four three even six one is a little bit better of an example of what i would consider a true um 
like a true edge pressure. And the reason why is just because you have six man front again, and then you're the seventh player right here. And essentially you're just trying to hold that center for a second. And as you can see, the edge pressure is incredible. The beauty of these blitzes is they're typically really fast. Um, they, they typically come in at a really fast and consistent clip because you are sending, um, you are sending six. And then the last version of this that I wanted to go over with you guys today um, is going to be out of this tight slots, uh, or I'm sorry, the, the 245 AA gap, um, which you could also do the same basic principle out of the nickel triple as well. Um, but this 245 AA gets really good. So it's just mid blitz, very simple. All you're going to do is you you can you can press, you can not press, that's up to you. But basically, you're just going to use this guy right over the center. And essentially, if the running back goes out on the route, then you're going to go guard him because you've got six on five. If the running back stays in the block, then you're going to try to hold in the middle of the field, essentially, because you have no coverage responsibility now. And now you're basically just a defender that's trying to hold that running back so that that blitz can come in off of the opposite edge. That's what edge blitzing, um, edge pressure really is. This was also extremely effective um, in Madden 13 and in Madden 12. And in Madden 13, you guys might remember that was the, the year problem, uh, won the Virgin Gaming Madden Challenge running this kind of six-man pressure style out of the 46 bear under. The reason this tile blitzing is so good is because if you have a good user in the middle of the field and you can and you can jump the routes quickly, it really makes it uh, a very, very, very good uh, defense to be able to run because it really pigeonholes the offense into very specific things they can do and it eliminates the majority of what most offenses want to do, which is they want to be able to send at least four if not five out every single time, this gives us the ability to force them to have to block somebody consistently and ideally have to block two people consistently. So that's what edge pressure can do for you. And those are some of the best formations um, to run edge pressure from. Now, as you head into the Madden 24 beta and as in, into the Madden 24 launch, my encouragement would be to try to figure out, is this the year that edge pressure is really good? Um, is this the year that 245 double A gap or uh, nickel over or 43 of a 61? Is this the year that those blitzes are just absolutely incredibly effective and can stop the most of the majority of what people want to do offensively? It might be, it might not be. Maybe it's the slot corner stuff from yesterday. Maybe it's one of the other three uh, different types of concepts we haven't discussed yet here on the channel. But whatever it is, guys, you want to start every single year with learning how to blitz. And then once you've figured out how to blitz, you want to learn how to adjust to the best formations of the game. Actually, you want to learn how to stop the run second, and then you want to learn how to adjust to the best offenses in the game. Guys, thanks for watching the video. We do a blitzing ebook every single year in the Patreon. You can get access to all of our offensive, defensive ebooks in the Patreon right now for just 10 bucks. The link is in the description. You can go sign up down below. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you over at the Patreon page.